Never mind that, never mind that now, never mind that. Okay, ah, uh, yes. The Kegaloo 316 vacuum or plunger filler. Uh, most modern pens, as this is, uh, take cartridges, ink cartridges. Uh, simple, clean, uh, not terrifically high capacity, kind of dwarfed by the pen there, and um, not terrifically engaging. So to make things a wee bit more interesting, uh, this pen has been modified to fill using a Schaefer or an auto style vacuum plunger um, of the type first, first introduced by an auto way, way back at the beginning of the last century. So I think a, a short demonstration is in order. Um, we've got a loop, a wee syringe here, a beaker of water uh, ready to test the pen's capacity. So time circuit's on. And uh, let's, uh, let's get cracking. Now, I was considering strapping this camera to my head because this filling system is uh, strictly a two-handed affair. See that? It's a, very, it's a very long throw. It's hard to do with one hand holding the camera. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate first of all, I think, the the one-shot fill capacity, because that's how I will, in any event, be using this pen. And also, I'll be playing a bit of Goulation Roulette. Um, I notice the Goulets have a, a very interesting sort of upside-down technique for maximising the fill on these plunger fillers, and it does seem to work on this one as well. As uh, I think they used a Twisby Fac 700, but the principle seems to be the same. So enough uh, chit chat, and I'll I'll stick the pen in our water supply. So um, one shot. That's uh, that's what we'll do for the first film. Okay. Not much to it, is there? <laughs> Again, I'm using my uh, my one milliliter syringe. I think we can safely say that the the three milliliter is away for good. Right, that's one millimeter in focus, even good stuff. And the rest of it. Oh well, not quite one point five. It's pretty much there, but it's not quite 1.5. I think it's maybe a bit camera shy because I've been getting 1.5. Anyway, that's how I'll be using this pen as a one-shot deal. I'm not really that interested in um, risking getting ink everywhere. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm using water here for these tests. I wouldn't be chancing this maximizing fill with uh, diamine. But um, for the sake of science, yes. Here we go. There's our, our one shot fill. I believe the idea is you take it out of the, uh, the ink, the water, open the, the rod, and get a wee bit of pressure going. Not so much that I can see it leaking out. Whoa! It's tricky business, this. Even, uh, even with two hands. I'll give it one more go. Or whatever. If we're doing it, if we're maximising it and we're we're not running out of memory on this card, I'll just do it maybe two or three times. <laughs> See, that's why I wouldn't be uh, inclined to use ink. Okay, one last go, I think. I felt quite a bit of resistance that time, so I'm hoping that's the uh, that's the barrel completely uh, filled. When I say completely filled, the static seal begins about there. I'll use the syringe to point, and the top of the vacuum release chamber is about there. So although it's quite a large pen, I'm not using it to its uh, its best capacity. Anyway, it works, eh? Well, that's uh, that's something.
Oh, I can tell there's a lot of ink in there because it's much harder to... That's us. Okay, the pen can go off to one side. It's a very heavy pen, the Kegel E316. I've got it in a wee uh, tray there so I don't roll off the desk as I whitter on. Now you can already see, I'm doing my best to keep this in focus where it's a lot more ink than the, the one shot would take up. There's one milliliter. There's two milliliters. She can't take much more of this. Okay, uh, there's a wee bit more. I've got a bubble trapped in there, so it isn't. It's not going to be 2.4. I think it's either 2.2. Oh, sorry. I'm looking. I'm not looking through the camera. It's either 2.2 or 2.3. I can. Maybe try and get the air out of there. Oh, I'm not. I'm making a mess of this. All right, it's 2.2 or 2.3. Who knows? One of those. Uh, one of those mysteries. So yeah, that in a nutshell is the Kegaloo 316 vacuum plunger filler. I've really enjoyed making this. This is not something uh, that was a bind at all. I really enjoy making this. I enjoy making this much more than the old uh, three, uh, Hero 616. Why do they give them names rather than numbers? I never remember these things. Hero 616 uh, Vacuumatic... Uh, 616, listen to me. Vacuumatic. Um, this compact, well, you ca it's not really a, a fair comparison because it's a much smaller pen. But uh, the capacity of this is 1.5 maximum. And you'd be getting much more of a workout using that plunger rod. So um, I hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to know a little more about how this was uh, converted, I've put up on my blog a lot of photographs and part numbers and things like that if you might find them useful or even interesting, who knows. So thanks for watching and over and out from Flounder.